Hi, I'm Ann Gowry and I play Katie in Mean Girls. Katie is the new kid on the block. She She's never been to high school before. She's been homeschooled her whole, whole life. So when she gets to North Shore High, she is astonished by the cliques, the rules, the social expectations. And um, she sort of falls into the clutches of Regina George. Not my clutches. <laughs> um, my name is Renee. I uh, I'm, I'm playing Regina. Um, I think that this is such a sick, uh, iconic <laughs> character in um, archetype for a character, and it's just very fun for me to be able to do it. Um, and she's very hot and funny and um, cynical and um, bitchy and direct. And uh, those are some of my, those are some of the women that I have the biggest crushes on. <laughs> Chris? Uh, hi, I am Chris Briney. I'm six foot two and three quarters. I'm based in Brooklyn, New York. And <laughs> I play Aaron Samuels. Um, Aaron is- um, <clears throat> Six foot two and three quarters. It's true. And Aaron is a, he's a, he's a good boy. He, um, I think is sort of, uh, he's different from a lot of, um, boys in rom-com stuck in a love triangle because he's sort of like got all these different parts to him. He's not one, he's not just like the jock mm. who does this. He's not just the nerd who's really smart. He's like, okay at everything. And he's a nice guy. So true. <laughs> and he's that there, is, he's along yeah. for the ride. He gets pushed around. He's okay at everything. Uh, he's okay at everything. He's, he's not gonna go pro. Nice. He's not that yeah. good at math. But no, he's still he's... in the, the honors class or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah and he's, he's so, nice he's and he cares about people. Nice. And I think he's very yeah. sincere. And he gets tossed around a little bit. Yeah. He contains multitudes. He contains multitudes. And he doesn't know what day it is. He doesn't know what day it is. That's true. Ever. Uh, mean Girls is hot. Hot. Ooh. Sounds better like that. Mean Girls is hot. hot. No, say it how you would say it. Hot. No, that's so cute. Oh, uh, yeah. I like it. Um, mean Girls is sexy. Mm. Mean Girls is pink. <laughs> so true. So real. So true, bestie. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think... I you go. By all means, please. No, please. You. I could um, never. I was just going to say, hopefully they can expect something new and fresh and um and 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 modern and um fun yeah i think audiences can expect to see all the things they love all the lines that they love all the moments that they love but also expect i mean how can you expect something new and exciting i don't know you won't be expecting it watch out <laughs> I play Karen Shetty, um, who is one of the plastics in the in, in Mean Girls. Um, sorry, <laughs> nice to hold there. But, uh, um, Karen Shetty is this really sweet girl. Um, she is arguably, actually not even arguably, the, I think the nicest yeah. out of um, the plastics, and she's got a kind heart. Um, but you know, she's a, she's a little she's a little she's a little stupid, but she's you know bopping around, hanging out with the plastics, um, and I think gets caught up in this like intense rivalry amongst all the girls, but I think maintains a really good heart through it all. Mm. I play Gretchen Wieners, who is Regina's sort of, you know, point person, right hand person, always there. You know, she, she keeps the secrets of the school not very well, but she, she, collect she them um, and uh, and she sort of organizes everything I feel like she has her like little plan and she she tries her best to uh, carry that out um, for the um, for the sort of gain of the plastics and Regina for sure. um, and maybe for Katie sometimes maybe not for Katie sometimes mm -hmm. it is such an honor to be a part of a movie that um, I grew up with and that I loved and love very, very much. Um, it is a complete honor to sort of breathe a different life into it and, and reimagine it um, in a 2024 landscape. I agree 100%. I think, I mean, the 04 film is iconic. The Broadway show is incredible. And I think to be able to 
be a part of sort of an homage to both of those um, projects. Uh, it, it's just a really, really great honor. And I think everybody who was part of those, um, the, that film and that show has really gone on to do amazing things. Um, and I think to be able to kind of carry on that legacy in whatever way we can feels really, really special. I think, you know, totally. You, I mean, there were always the, 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 the original originals, characters yeah. for, for inspiration. For sure. um, they're just so iconic. How could you not? You know, yeah. also the text and, and the script is just so well written. Like the essence of these characters speaks for themselves. You know, I think... Um, you just look to what is uh, presented to you and, and you gain all of the inspiration that, that you can from it. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I think yeah, you look to the original material and then um, sort of just breathe in a new life into it. Yeah. I feel like you can speak to this because I did very minimal dancing except for, for Santa. Um, I think it was just, I mean, it was really bonding. Um, in like when you are thrown into kind of a movie already very, very intimidated, but you spend a month dancing together and rehearsing together and blocking so meticulously together. Like there's a certain level of connection that develops between everybody. Um, and I think, I don't know, it felt, it felt like, it felt like summer camp. It felt like when you're all just like kind of working through it together um, and putting in so much of this effort. And I think we all kind of ha came out with this newfound respect for each other and for how hard we all worked. Um, but, you know, it was labor intensive and we really could not have done it without our amazing choreographer, Kyle and um, Haley and Sam and Art and our wonderful dancers. I think they were all in this with us. We all did it together. Um, and hopefully, you know, audiences love what they see. I play Damien Hubbard the queer icon of North Shore, the, the man, the myth, the legend that you all know and love. Hi, uh, I'm Ali'i and I play Janice Imiike. She has a new last name because I'm native Hawaiian and so is she. Janice is uh, a pyro freak. She has lit things on fire in the past, but she doesn't let that hold her back. Um, she's someone who would rather sit alone at a lunch table than have to try to fit in with the plastics or fit in with any of the cliques. Mm. Damien is uh, Damien is your quintessential art freak. You know, he goes goes where the art is. Sometimes he likes to sing. Sometimes he likes to wear a crazy outfit. You know, I mean, he's all over the place, but he's also a child, so he can be all over the place. Um, but he's really like one of the most loyal people in the film. He's very loyal to Janice. He's yeah. loyal to Katie. He cares about his friends. He has a huge heart. And... Um, He's, he's also kind of a bad bitch, so. True. Working with Tina Fey was a dream, um, especially for this project. I don't think anyone would have said yes if Tina was not involved. It's Tina's mm. baby. This is Mean Girls by Tina Fey. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. Um, But also, like, her husband Jeff was there. And both of them, for me especially, um, they were a part of the first call I got when it came to the project. Mm. So I always got advice from them. I always got the ability um, and the permission to make Damien my own, to find him for myself, find him in 2024. Mm -hmm. um, and she always really showed care for us as actors, mm -hmm. but us as people. Um, how are you today? Did you eat today? You know, like very mom energy. Um, and I just, I'm so grateful that I got to work with her as well as Jeff. I learned a lot from Tina Fey. Um, she does this thing where she actually speaks really softly on set, which makes everyone lean in, makes everyone like work a little bit quieter, um, which is a power move. Let's start there. But she's also incredibly kind. She's a genius in a comedy as well as comedic timing and as someone who hasn't worked in comedy a lot, and I also, like, I'm not as comfortable with, like, the physicality also of humor. Like, I just haven't flexed that muscle. It was really wonderful to be, like, in her hands and be told, just play. Like, release this kind of uh, tension of, of, of course, wanting to like, do well, but also wanting to pay homage to uh, Lizzie Kaplan, who played Janice before me. Like, just make her your own. And I really appreciate her saying that. Uh, this cast and honestly the whole team. First off, I have to I have to give so much love to Sam, 
our our directors, Kyle Hanagami, our choreographer, yeah. um, George on makeup, Dennis yeah. on hair and all the people, just everybody in all of like their respective positions um, for really creating an environment for us to come in and play. Because um, I feel like that's the foundation that allows us as actors to get to know each other, to build relationship. It starts at the top. Mm-hmm. And um, from the top, they just said, enjoy each other's company, have fun. And then you actually meet this cast and me being a fan of all of them prior to working with them. They're such kind people. They're such talented people. They taught me so much and they really took me in. Um, And I feel like it really translates how much fun we all had with each other and how much love was on that set. Yeah. To be clear, this wasn't like an easy movie to make. It was joyful for sure. But like you said, like there is (sighs) choreography. There is musical recordings that have to be done in a booth. There's also live recordings. Then there's lip syncing to match the songs that we've already pre-recorded. Like there are so many elements to this film. And then of course, there's also uh, Ari who worked on the camera who Mm -hmm. is running with us. And he's like on a steady cam, like take after take after take until we get it right. Um, But this is a labor of love. Like, you know, some people are like, oh my gosh, it's like, it's magic that it all came together. Wrong. Mm -hmm. It is blood, sweat and tears and it is hard work. And, um, and I do it again. Yeah. I loved sticking my middle finger up all the time. That was really fun. Uh, At a certain point, the line producer came over and she was like, okay, listen, we only have like one more middle finger before we change our rating from PG-13 to like something else. So, I think you're good on middle fingers. I really liked that. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most exciting things about playing Damien is I feel that for the most part, when you see a plus size character, especially in a high school setting, he is either the joke or abused, or they are the joke or abused. Um, and Damien is none of those things. Damien is a normal high schooler. He's a person. You may laugh at something he says, but he's not meant to be a punching bag. You know, like he he's like such a lively energy. He's a ball of love and joy and he spreads it and he knows he's fabulous. He knows he's cute. <laughs> and um and he and he walks through the earth with his head held high. And I was really excited to present that. I think audiences can expect a fresh take on this 04 classic that we all know and love. Please know that we love these characters just as much as you do. We respect our original film just as much as you fear us touching it. This is a fake nose ring. Um, But like, this is also an amalgamation of the original film as well as like musical elements from the musical on Broadway. And it's really fun to be able to get deeper into these characters. Like with music, you can um, like know what's going on in their heads. We're singing our feelings. You just, really get more glitter, more pizzazz, um, more mean girls, if that's possible. Yeah, yeah. I think audiences also will walk away with seeing the magic that is the world of musicals. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes musicals and musical theater gets a bad rep, but it really is such a beautiful art form, such a respected art form. And the way that it can transform an already iconic piece, I think is just... I don't know. I think it's a great contribution to an already iconic legacy. And um, I think you'll also see how much we are fans of Mean Girls as it stands. That's why we worked so hard to give the performances we gave. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released.